The select these uh, runs us into the measuring menu. Uh, the next option is uh, to view the uh, acquired data. So here we have two records that we have saved and you can see the first one was the 52 grams at 1.15 seconds. The second one was the 30 grams at 0.8 seconds and so forth. Then you can exit and uh, you can do again to the next option and you can transfer the data to the PC. You can change the maximum force you want. So now in order to use the bit uh, dynamic of, uh, of the instrument you can set it at 50, at 20 or at 1000 grams and change it. For example now I'm changing it and I keep it at 200 grams. Um, I can then go into the memory status and see how much memory I have available. Um, I can erase the memory and uh, again I can measure the peak force. So if I go into view configure it tells me what is the situation. So uh, if I have a sound set for example for the maximum force or not or I can, uh, or I can go back. So, if we go into the main menu, we have a configure menu where you can set configuration or restore the default configuration. If we go into set configuration, uh, we have the target force rate. This will give us access to a rate meter which is available both on the display here and on the software that we will show you uh, in a second. Now it is set at 30 grams per second so we will see on the software a slope that allows us to apply the force in a way that stays on the slope so that you apply the force uh, at a constant rate. Or we can use a rate meter that I'll show you now. Uh, so I can show text or rate meter. If I show the rate meter you will see now uh, what happens. And if I apply the force, you can see that there is this system here which has to basically stay in the middle in order to... Now we, we reached the 100, uh, so we went up to 162 and you saw the, the rate meter basically you have to keep it in the center, meaning that you are constantly increasing the rate. Uh, I can show I can use the peak detector as I told as we did before or we can use the foot pedal that we showed uh, at the beginning to score the animal response. Uh, we can have a force sworn to the maximum force which we set before at 200 gram and this will be a, a, a sound warning. We can have the sound threshold changed uh, at whatever value. For example, we can say, okay, we don't go above 100 grams. Say, okay. Uh, the measurement will start at a percentage of 2% of the maximum force. This can be changed to change the sensitivity of the system and when it starts recording. And uh, also the maximum measuring time, so a time threshold can be set and uh, also the system to ask during the measurement if uh, we are measuring the left paw or the right paw and this data will then be available in the data in the system and uh, in the CSV file that can be read in Excel that is also available. Um, it can also ask you uh, if you want only test or also to, uh, to select the uh, the subject uh, and uh, uh, if you want to store all or only the good results so with the accept re uh, reject option uh, and if you want only the peak or all the waveform of what happened during uh, during the application uh, of, uh, uh, of, the, uh, of the force and you can decide if you want to show the configuration uh, or not and to show the offset that the, that the, the system automatically does the auto zeroing or, uh, or not 
and if it will switch off automatically to save battery uh, or not. Change the display brightness, uh, the dim time, which is never now. Uh, you can adjust the clock, obviously, and uh, you can go in a fast mode uh, when you work uh, on uh, allodinic animals that respond fast. You may want to use this mode or a standard mode which we used now. And again, we go back to the target force rate which I showed, uh, which I showed before. So, we save the changes to the, uh, to the configuration and you can see that if I do measure now, uh, it will be a bit different. Uh, because if I now select this and test, it asks me if it is the left or the right pole. I select the left.